Hello. Yeah, you always catch my face. Okay. <laughs> Hello, church. My name is Asanuka and I am part of our Audacious Church campus in Chester. How are you today? Um, today we are in our series of Christmas devotionals, um, looking at the journey in Jesus' birth story. And our key scripture for today is from Luke chapter 2, verse 4. And it says, so Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee, Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. So here we see Joseph and Mary, a very pregnant Mary, moving from Nazareth to Bethlehem, where Jesus was then born. And why is this happening? Because Joseph was a descendant of King David. And this is both relevant and necessary because this is required to fulfill a great prophecy, the prophecy of the birth of Jesus, the Messiah. About 1,000 years before, in Isaiah, it says that about Jesus that he will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. So for a thousand years before this journey in Luke 2, the Jews have been waiting for the Messiah, waiting for the King of the Jews, the Saviour of the world, to come from the line of King David. Now David wasn't expected to do great things. He was the youngest in his family, seemingly the least important, but God chose David and he put a legacy on his life and that legacy led to Jesus. And Joseph, the other character in the key verse, was a carpenter. He knew he was from the tribe of David, and he would have known about the prophecy of the Messiah coming from the line of David. But he did not expect to be on a journey in Luke 2 to fulfill this great prophecy and the realisation of such a great legacy. But God knew. God knew the legacy David would leave, and how this would play out to fulfil what God had promised. And just as God kept his promise to the world for a saviour back then, God keeps his promises to you now. The Bible, the word of God, is living and active truth. And as Christians, we can be expecting that God will do the things that he has said he will do. The story of Jesus' birth highlights the fact that sometimes the journey doesn't look the way we would design it. But God is faithful and he will do what he has said. 33 years after the journey in Luke 2, God fulfilled another promise. Christ's death on the cross and resurrection, his victory over sin and death, and the gift of salvation to all who believe. So now, as believers, we are children of God. We are sons and daughters of the Lord Most High and heirs of his inheritance. If you are a child of God, you have an inheritance in him. And God has plans for you and a legacy for you to leave. You can be expectant for good things in your life. And if you don't know what it means to be a child of God, then join us at one of our services on Sunday or check us out online and we will tell you all about it. So church, whatever journey you are on today, wherever you are in life and whatever promises you are holding out for or holding on to, I want to encourage you to take a moment to consider and act on four points. Firstly, you are not random. God knows you. He cares about you. He knows where you came from and he knows where you are headed to. Secondly, God's promises are for you. Thirdly, as you choose to align yourself with God, you position yourself to receive a great inheritance and to leave a good legacy. And fourthly, God is faithful. Remember his promises to you and be expectant for their fulfillment. There's an inheritance for you to receive and there's a legacy for you to leave. So I'm going to pray. Father God, thank you that you are not random. And nothing is random to you. Thank you that you know every person on earth. Thank you that you know everybody who is listening to, watching, or reading this devotional, Lord God. And that you have plans and purpose for their life. Thank you, God, that just as you saw David, the shepherd boy, Joseph, the carpenter, and where they sat in the grand scheme of life and eternity, 
you know every single person engaging with this devotional. And I pray, Lord God, that we would, each one of us, have a personal relationship with you so that we can step into the fullness of life in you, so that we can receive a great inheritance from you, the fulfillment of your promises for our lives, and with everything that it takes to live out the journey that you are taking us on. Thank you, God, that you have got good things and that you are faithful for each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay blessed, church. Remember, you have an inheritance to receive and a legacy to leave. Be expectant.